welcome to this episode of Let's Talk Trans with your hosts Gabe and Leo. This is a show that supports the LGBTQ plus community as a whole while focusing on the lives, struggle, and achievements of transgender people. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, it's Wednesday night. I think it's Wednesday. It uh, is Wednesday. It, it, okay. We have got, you know, like every like every single episode, I seem to wait until something, like, really pops out, and I go, oh, crap, let's talk about that. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and today was, I mean, literally, like, I had something planned this morning, mm-hmm. and then... Um, I opened Twitter. <laughs> well, you opened Twitter, and I opened CNN, mm-hmm. and... We both went <gasps> in Texas. Yeah, way to go, Texas. And I was—I initially admit, at first off, I was—I was—I um, was, I was gearing for North North Dakota. Mm-hmm. That was going to be my thing tonight. I was going to approach you because last episode, you know, we talked about all these states and all the laws and all the issues that were going on. Yeah. And North Dakota passed their law. All right. But Texas, uh, Texas, pretty much went uh, hold my beer. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Texas really kind of, like, well, I'm just, you know, I, I think I think everybody who's in the LGBTQ plus community at this point knows what is going on in Texas. If you don't, I'm going to let Leo explain. So, do you want me to explain of the how I originally found this post? Yeah, sure, why not? So, a person, uh, who I'm not even going to try to pronounce their name, on Twitter... Should I say the Twitter at? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, at Jarrett says, posted this on Twitter. If you are di- as disgusted as I am by this attack on transgender youth in Texas, please donate to at Trans Texas. No, again, we're not we're not suggesting because we don't know the organization. So, mm-hmm. you know. And if your funds are tight, consider signing up here to become an advocate to help defend the rights of all transgender people in Texas. And then it has a link to the uh, website to donate. Yeah. Um, And and so for those of you who aren't aware, because, you know, that's kind of a a vague thing, the governor, uh, Governor Abbott of Texas, um, basically wrote a letter today to uh, the office of the attorney general, and uh, both the, the the both the te- or no, I, I apologize. I, I'm trying to read this and, and not read it at the same level <laughs> at the same time. Um, so he wrote to the the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services, what most of us would call Child Protective Services. Yes, uh, but Texas does everything big, bigger go home. And so uh, the governor's office wrote to the Department of Family and Protective Services and basically said that any child that receives a, um, receives a, oh my goodness, Mm. (laughs) excuse me, bubble in your throat, weird, yeah, Uh, any child that receives a procedure of a, a, and, and it's all in quotation in this letter, a sex change procedure, um, needs to be investigated and reported for child abuse. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I actually uh, got a copy of this letter, and it is 15 pages long, um, and, and very clearly points out that any procedure that, that what they refer to as neutering um, or um, transitioning, sex change procedures, neutering... Or, or basically removing non-diseased, healthy sex organs mm-hmm. from a child um, is is basically illegal at this point. And what I want to point out is, and one thing that I'm almost positive is going to happen, is this is going to get overturned. Yes. I mean, I, I realize that there's a huge fear in the state right now. And um, people are, I don't want to say people are panicking because I'm not down there. Yeah, but I know, like we've already heard from a, from a couple people who were like, "Oh man, this sucks!" Like Texas, what the, you know? Mm-hmm. 
He has also instructed all teachers, doctors, and caregivers to begin reporting any transgender students they see. Right. Now, here's the thing. And I, I'm reading this letter, and it does go through uh, sterilization, through castration, vasectomy, hysterectomies, all these things. Um, all the ectomies and plasties and, you know. It also talks about um, the giving of uh, puberty blockers and puberty suppressants. Um, yeah. So, he's not, he's kind of going a little bit one step further. This governor is saying, um, you know, whether you can, uh, I'm sorry, I'm jumping around here a little bit. <laughs> it's really messy. So, the, the initial letter states, you know, you know, uh, dear commissioner, constituting this law, this law, this is child abuse, yada, da, 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 Oh, people are already calling and look at that. Like, what on God's green earth? I don't want to know what's going on right now, but that's irrelevant. Okay. If it's important, they'll call you back. That's right. They will. So, but like I said, and then, so, from, and so here's, here's what we have. Okay, so not only do we have this letter from the governor, to the attorney general's office who got a copy of this letter that was sent to uh, uh, Child Protective Services in Texas, the Department of Family Protective Services. It does not need to sound that fancy. It doesn't. It really doesn't. But anyway. Just say Child um, Protective Services. So the thing was, uh, the attorney general's office then shoots a, kind of a letter back asking questions, mm -hmm. which was good. I mean, I'm all for... Yes. Questions um, are important. Yeah. So we have uh, Representative Krauss, um, who's being, you know, asked, okay, you need to define this. You know, there are children w who have medical disorders, who may have cancer as a child, testicular cancer, who now need these hormones, mm -hmm. you know, to, to grow and mature. And, you know, obviously somebody who, who has a, a cancer down in the, the nethers... I can't believe I just called it the nethers, but whatever. <laughs> the no-no square. Um, you know, may from time to time need a corrective surgery. Mm -hmm. You know, whether there's scar tissue or what have you. And the thing of it is, is that this letter coming from the governor's office is like cut and dry. It's black or white. And, you know, the, the attorney general's office is coming back going, no, no, it's not black and white. Mm -hmm. You know, there are all these mitigating circumstances and you kind of need to explain. Yeah. Um, and so, they they do kind of go in, and they they do, and it, it's pretty much they're ignoring mental health, mm -hmm. and they're saying, okay, well, if it's cancer or things like that or rare diseases, okay, we get that, but nothing in any way, shape, or form that turns a person neutered, castrated, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call, unable to produce fruit bearing peoples. I'm gonna get shot. Don't say that. I'm going to get squirted. Don't say that either. I'm going to get in trouble. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. A serious matter. I'll put my serious face on. Not my phone. You <laughs> shoot my phone. I will Leo's, shoot your Leo's phone. Leo's holding a squirt bottle in my direction. I'm armed and dangerous. <laughs> you didn't see me do it, but I flailed my arms. <laughs> Leo hates my bad dad jokes. Really, really hates my bad dad jokes. I will miss you. <laughs> I have it in the mist setting. It's not any worse than me tossing my salad today. <laughs> Alright. I was shaking my salad, weirdos. I'm sure you were shaking something. I was. I was shaking my salad. That's how We're getting off topic. I'm off topic. <laughs> Alright. Fish me. Reel me back in. No. <sighs> okay. So like I said, this letter is... It's 15 pages long. And I, I'm just going to read the, the excerpt from... Which website am I on here? <laughs> I don't know. I'm on the state... I'm on the, you know, state of Texas... Office of Texan or Texas Governor, uh, which I'm sure is getting berated by nasty emails at this point. <laughs> um, so, uh, like I said, Governor Abbott sent a letter to the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services directing the agency to conduct prompt and thorough investigations of any... Holy frig, my phone needs to stop. Um, I lost my train of thought. Any report? Uh, oh, instance of Texas children being subjected to abusive gender transitioning procedures. The directive comes after the Office of the Attorney General confirmed that a number of so-called sex change procedures 
four minors already conduct, er, con constituted child abuse under existing Texas law. So the thing of it was, is according to this, the Attorney General's office kind of already came in and said, hey, look, this is already happening. Mm -hmm. um, and, and now this leads me to, now, child abuse. Yes. Um, this is assuming, of course, that this is happening against the child's will. Because mm. it has very expensive child abuse, too. I know. That's like me. Go that's like me looking at you, going, "I want you to be a boy. Damn it, you're gonna be a boy," and me taking to have your, you know, your twigs and berries installed. Mm -hmm. Which I have heard stories of parents being like that, of wanting a boy, having a daughter, and doing that, not not forcing the child to transition. Yeah, but I have heard stories about that. Really, really, that's that's insane. Right. Oh, got it. Yep. Yeah. That's what she said. Okay. No. No. <laughs> okay. So the letter then goes on to say, because the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services is responsible for protecting children from abuse, I hereby direct your agency to conduct a prompt and thorough investigation, basically repeating himself. Um, it said, read the letter. To protect children from abuse, DFPS and all other state agencies must follow the law as explained by the uh, Office of the Attorney General. The letter notes that Texas law imposes... Im reporting requirements upon all licensed professionals. Now, that's the same thing as here in PA. If I were to witness child abuse in any way, shape, or form, by law, as a teacher, I have to report it. Yes. Uh, same thing with a nurse, same thing with a doctor, what have you. Same thing as any normal human being should do. Ah, should. Should. Emphasis on the word should. Should. Unless it's funny. Yeah. Um, Don't take me seriously on that I won't, one. no. You would know. Why <laughs> anyway. would I ever take you seriously? <laughs> anyone. Yeah, yeah it says anyone who has direct contact with children who may be subjected to such abuse, including doctors, nurses, teachers, and provides criminal penalties for failure to report such child abuse. The governor's letter also mentions that the law imposes a duty on the DFPS hmm. to investigate the parents of child of children subjected to gender transitioning procedures and on other state agencies to investigate licensed facilities where such procedures may occur. So not only are we going after, or I should say, not only are they going after the parents of, you know, suspected, you know, trans, abused children, trans, transgender children now mm -hmm. for abusing, but now they want to go after the facilities that do it. How do you plan on stopping every hospital in Texas? I don't know. Like, I mean, like, legitimately. And again, I, I fully expect that, you know, the governor here is, is kind of like um, trying to squeak one out. Mm -hmm. Trying to flip something under the radar. Oh, yeah, this is so not going under the radar. I mean, like, it's everywhere. It, it's literally everywhere. It was on my side of Twitter. Which it never happens. Yeah, I don't get, pol I don't, I rarely get politics on my side of Twitter. It's on CNN. I mean, like, literally, and it was on, it's on, it's on The Advocate, it's on CNN, I found it on, mm -hmm. I mean, like, it's, it's literally everywhere. Yeah. It's on Facebook. Of course it's on Facebook. It's, of course it's on Facebook. It's obviously on Twitter. Right. Well, it's Twitter. But the thing of it is, is that, I mean, how do you, how do you, how do you constitute a child asking a parent for, you know, a be a, a, a really? I don't even know which dog is chewing, but holy crap, is it loud? It's mine. Hold on. Yeah. Um. So the thing of it is, is that, you know, the government, once again, the government is coming in and saying, "Hey, look, you can't." Um, you can't, you can't do this. We broke it. We're not. Um, so the government's coming in and saying, "Hey, look, we know it's your body, but um, yeah, you're not allowed to do with what you want with your body because you know that would be child abuse." They did the same thing uh, when it came to abortion. Well, it, it was the same thing when it came to any, almost any woman's right. Mm -hmm. I mean, like we have, I, we still, they still have these arguments in Congress over. Um, you know, what a woman can do with her body, what a woman can't do with her body. Um, abortion, birth control at a certain age, whether condoms are acceptable. The irony of, of a bunch of old white men. Right? Deciding what a woman should do with her body. But this is the thing of it is, is the woman's rights have, have gone up in arms. And now there's so many women in Congress... Mm -hmm. That the old boys club is kind of starting to back off of from the women. Yeah. Now they found a new target. They have found a new target. Let's go after transgender children. Whoa. Hey. What the? Jerks. What the, <laughs> what the heck? 
I know. I'm going to go to work tomorrow, and they're going to go, hey, look, we need to talk to you about your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we found.